Uh, guys, here it is. Saturday, it's 20 to 1. Uh, been out here since 9 o'clock. Uh, wore out pretty much another wire wheel. Uh, it's done in because it's starting to fly everywhere, so I'm just going to scrap that one. And this is where I'm at. Uh, I didn't think cleaning up a subframe would be this much work. I got her stripped down, that took probably a couple hours, and I've been at this for about an hour, cleaning, and finding all the bad stuff. There's a spot right there, uh, oops, I got it marked. It almost looks like it wasn't welded, or the weld let go, and it swelled up, and popped it. So I gotta cut that section out I got marked off and make a new piece for there. Well, that's no big deal there. So and gotta weld those pieces I put in uh, on this side. So that should be pretty easy. Uh, it's a lot of dirt inside the frame. I gotta get out. This is the bad spot. Uh, just not sure how I'm going to do this one yet. Uh, this is where the sway arm bolts in. So, I'm going to have to make a piece and put that bracket for the sway arm on there. Make sure it's in the right place. And the strange thing is, it's got to have that little dimple in it. So i got to put that in there somehow. Because the uh, rubber kind of sets up in there. As you can see on this side, that's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm going to have to reconstruct that. Uh, down there, she's weak, right to where I got it marked. And then it's strong. So I'm going to need some heat for this one. Uh, this piece here, uh, I'm probably going to end up doing that in a couple pieces. Or I'm um, going to cut that piece out and it only goes to here. This goes in, it's overlap. It's like the rest of the frame there. And I'm going to cut that piece, piece out right here and take it to work because we got heat there. And see if I can make that piece in one piece I want to try it I don't know if I can get it but I'm going to try it so I have to save those holes so that's where the front end bolts on this side so it's funny it's good and 90% of it's good and then you got these spots I guess that's where all the salt and water and crap all laid there and rusted it out so anyways that's what I'm up against here uh, that's going to be the hard part, getting that in the exact right place. But, we'll try her. And, this side's not quite as bad. Uh, I'm going to cut that out, take that to work too, and see if I can make that piece at work. So I get heat down there, and it makes it a lot easier to bend, get those curves right. So, uh, another thing too, the look, just like, I think what I'll do, since I got this thing upside down, there's a lot of spots that aren't welded, and they're separating, trying to, and I'm going to weld that in. I'm going to grind that out, clean it up, and weld that along there, and clean it up. And that way I shouldn't have to worry about it afterwards. Uh, yeah, that spot, that's the easiest spot. Other than that, the rest of it's pretty good. Uh, takes a lot to clean it up. <laughs> These factory welds are just blowing me out of the water. They're just everywhere. There's just a mess. Down in there. Just splatter jobs. Right there, that's just unreal. I'll grind that all off. I don't like that, so we'll get rid of that. 
So it's not much to show because it took a long while to get it to this point. But it's I got it sitting there so I can just sit down and weld. It's comfortable. So I took the front shocks off. I probably won't use those ones again because I have a really good set of the other car. Uh, nothing wrong with these, they need cleaned up, but the other ones, they're nice and clean. Still black paint on them, so I think I'll use the clean ones. And I gotta get all the dirt out of it. Uh, once I get it all welded up, I'll just set it up on its end and just tap it, knock all the rust out of it, and treat it inside with something. Just don't know what yet, so I'll look into that. Cross member is really good. I gotta take that off. I just left it on there for support to hold it up there while I'm welding it. But I gotta get that off. And just gonna go from there. Uh, then I'm gonna start cleaning all the pieces up, all the stuff that has to be painted black. And uh, gonna make a video. When I got all the pieces hanging, as uh, she informed me, she's gonna she gonna do the painting. I'll get it ready, show her what to do, and she can do the painting. So just ought to get my uh, YouTube thing there in the video. Um, where do I got this thing at? Oh, wrong way. Uh, you sit down here. I don't know where the best place for light is. Or nothing. This place is a mess. It's actually, I had it all nice and clean. Now it's all dark because everything's got this layer of rust and dust on it. So, but it's got to be done. So, so I can get that all back together again. And uh, like I said, I didn't think it was going to take this long, but it's uh, a lot of work just cleaning the thing. So. We'll get her, get it all washed down once I'm done, get those pieces made, that's going to be the rough one, but, oh well, we'll fix her. And I'd like to thank everybody for uh, responding to that, uh, that Porsche video there. Um, I, I don't know if the guy had it, the guy that, see that fellow that wants to be painted, he just bought it. And uh, I said he got a good deal on it. It wasn't running. Uh, head gasket was gone, and he had to put a valve in it because it had bent valve. And uh, somebody mentioned that if the engine overheated. I don't know if it did or not, but the roof has those little bubbles on it too. So uh, it's probably a contamination thing. I'm not sure, but uh, well, better look at it once you get it in here. Because it, it, those places will have to be stripped because it's just on the roof and the, and the hood. So, and uh, I want to thank you guys for responding to the pearl thing there because, well, like I said, I don't know nothing about that. I usually just go get my paint, uh, whatever paint coat is, and go from there. But I'm going to do some more uh, research on it there. And, uh, and thanks HBR for putting that video up. That, that was good. Uh, I did see that tailgate you did for the, I think it was the van, the white one there, but uh, I was paying more attention to you spraying it other than the steps, so I'll go back and find that, see if I can find that, have a look at that, and uh, some other videos there, uh, just a hogging, so it's the little edit of pearls, uh, uh, Matt, slow SRT there, and Rich, I just caught that message there not too long ago, and uh, but by the time I get this car, that car in there, I hopefully have a good idea what I'm going to do with it. And another thing too, I think I'll show the owner those video or that video, and let him read the comments, and you know, at least he'll know where we're going on this. Uh, I never did it before. Um, I'll leave it up to him whether he wants me to try or not. Um, You've seen my paint jobs before, but this is be a little different for me, so. But uh, if he wants to give it a try, we'll give it a try. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have my uh, 
air line hooked up. I, I watched uh, Turbo Cobra there, and uh, yeah, where my grads is so small, I didn't want to run the pipe all the way around. So what he got there was uh, the loop with the drops and everything. I think I'll give that a try. Uh, all I get now is just some uh, three-quarter ball, ball valves, and I'll have everything for that, I believe. Uh, yeah, and uh, we'll get that in. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, put, I think, uh, four loops. I think that's what he's got there. I gotta watch the video again and mark it down. And I want to. I really want to do that because, like I said, my gauge. If I was to get 25 or 30 feet away from my compressor, which is on the other side of that wall, well, the grade's only 24 feet, so I'd have to get down there and back down. So I think that's a better idea. Just bringing it through the wall there, and maybe where that picture is right in that area in between the plugs put that little air system there and my uh, drop off right there and I'll have it a little different than that one I'll have it hanging down so there's no strain on it uh, that's worked so far and I got a new half inch line that I'm just going to keep for uh, painting and go from there and uh, Anyway, I think that'll work out good. So that's what I'm going to do there. Give that a try. So, anyways, I, I, like I said, I don't have a whole lot to show you. Just a little update for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to come out and start welding some of this because I'm done for today. I'm going to go go away for for supper tonight. Me and the wife, and we're going to head out here in probably a couple hours. And uh, Got an hour of drive to get there, so I get away from here for a little bit. So I do spend a lot of time out here. So and anyways, yeah, this should be pretty good. She's gonna she's gonna try her hand at painting that stuff for under the car. It's just gonna be a single stage urethane black. So uh, so it's, it's, what the heck, you know? She wants to get her involved in that too. So. Instead of doing all the dirt work, she must have some fun. So, I mean, it runs, it runs, still under the car. So, anyways, uh, like I said, guys, uh, whoever I didn't mention there, I, I thank everybody for, for uh, helping out there. Uh, I guess uh, anybody is having problems out there, this is the thing to do. I mean, I put that video up there and last night and this morning I had all kinds of help so uh, YouTube's good that way uh, if anybody's having any trouble just ask I, I don't give a lot of advice because just for a simple reason I'm very very new at all this um, I'm not sure what I'm doing so but if I do know something I'm more than willing to give advice and I've like I said I'm proof I've had more help on here and nobody's ever uh, nobody's ever made me feel stupid uh, or anything like that they just you guys help out and I greatly appreciate it and I really strongly recommend anybody having any trouble uh, put it out there you'll get your answers I'm, I'm sure of it so anyways guys um, thanks for watching hope everybody has a good day and we'll talk to you later have a good one see you later